football coach Kevin Barnes is trudging in frustration. It's impossible to play on these fields. This is supposed to be home field to his mother, Teresa Spartans. But this fall, not a chance. It's certainly not just football. It's our, our soccer teams haven't played one single home game here because of the conditions of the field. And I think the coaches are frustrated. I think the kids are frustrated. And unfortunately, not a lot's been done about it. Due to wear and tear, substandard is becoming the standard at more fields across the city. Take muddy banting. The Broncos will play here just once because of the conditions. At CCH, it's fragile. But the Crusaders play on. Same at Oak Ridge, but not ideal. At South, they're feeling the squeeze. If we want this field to be in great shape, we have to practice somewhere else. Mike Stenning has to keep his football team off of much of the busy school grass so it can recuperate. You come here on a weekend, it's full of people. They're here with their dogs, they're here with their families. They it's a park. Um, so when we're out here practicing on it day in and day out, it just doesn't get a chance to relax. The wear and tear is the unifying factor, but MTS and South are divided by who they report to. Same concern, different boards. The London Catholic system says it's invested $180,000 into the upkeep of its sports fields, the grass at Mother Teresa included. From the public school's perspective, aesthetics are nice, but... Our number one concern is student safety, and we follow the OFIA safety guidelines to ensure that uh, the fields are assessed daily uh, by various people. Um, and if they meet those safety guidelines, that's our priority. <laughs> As weather-beaten fields leave something to be desired, the city's weather-resistant playing surfaces have become refuge, a simple alternative, it seems. But as demand increases, scheduling conflicts and rising costs come with the turf. $40 an hour here at Citywide, 90 bucks an hour at TD Waterhouse Stadium. The costs, when you start putting it all together, the busing costs, the stadium costs, the schools are left picking up the tab. Back at sunny KJ Regan Field, Kevin Barnes believes things don't have to be so gloomy. He actually wants to stay and play here on what could be his own turf. Is it viable to at least have one or two field turfs at, you know, at one of the public board and one on the Catholic board? And that could help eliminate some of the problems you know, with the fields. What's artificial, says Barnes, is the real solution and one to which an answer is not only available, but nearby.